Hello and welcome to Tektronics. Today I'm going to walk through the complete declassification process on the MDO 4000 series oscilloscope. This procedure also applies to the MSO DPO 4000 and 4000B, the MSO DPO 3000, and the MSO DPO 2000 and 2000B series of oscilloscopes. The first step in the declassification process is the TechSecure erase memory function. This erases all non-volatile RAM which contains reference waveforms and setup files. This can be accessed by going to the utility menu, selecting Tech Secure Erase Memory, and selecting OK Erase Setup and Ref Memory. This erasing process takes the scope between 5 and 10 minutes. The next step is to erase the existing protected user data using the star PUD command from the programmer manual. You can either write the command directly to the instrument using open choice talker listener that is included in TechVisa, or you can write the commands into a text file and load it on the scope as a setup file. To write the commands to the scope using open choice, launch open choice instrument manager, select your instrument, and double click on open choice talker listener. This will open a new window. Enter password XYZZY contained in quotes in the field and click the write button. This command unlocks your ability to use the star PUD command. If you're curious, you can see what is contained in the protected user data currently by entering the star PUD question mark into the field and clicking the query button. To overwrite the protected user data, enter star PUD and then in case whatever you want to put in there in quotes. In this case, I'm typing in 300 X's. And then once you're finished, click the Write button. To ensure that you've overwritten the data successfully, enter the star PUD question mark query again. If you can't connect your scope to a computer, you can write these commands into a setup file and run it on your scope to erase the protected user data. Open a basic text editing application such as Notepad and type the following into it colon password and then in quotations XYZZY. -Z -Z Hit enter, type another colon and then type the command star PUD and then within quotation marks I'm going to type in 300 X's. Then save the file onto a USB drive with a .set extension because the scope will not be able to read anything else as a setup file. Plug the USB drive into the USB port on the front panel of your scope, press the menu button on the bottom of the scope, press the recall setup soft key, select the from file soft key, use the multi-purpose knob A to select your setup file, and press recall from selected file soft key. The protected user data on your scope is now overwritten with a bunch of X's. The next step is to disable the LAN port and clear IP addresses. To do this, remove the Ethernet cable from the LAN port of the instrument if it's connected. Next, go to the Utility menu, scroll to the I.O. page in the Utility page menu, select Ethernet and LXI, select the More button, select eScope Password, and use the multipurpose knob A to select Disabled. Select Change eScope Password, clear the password, and select OK Accept. To clear the IP addresses, select Network Configuration, select Manual, and select Set IP Addresses Manually. Clear each IP address field using the Clear button and the directional arrows, and select OK Accept. To clear the host, domain, and usernames, Select Ethernet and LXI, select Change Names, clear the host name and domain name fields using the Clear button, and select OK Accept. The final step is to disable the USB device port. Remove any USB cables or devices from the instrument, select USB, and then select Disabled. This completes the declassification process for your oscilloscope. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more about our products, please visit www.tektronics.com support.